Yeah, and the PTH steps is just an interesting Instagram mm-hmm. account, also just because they're neat pictures of Pittsburgh steps. And to give a little background, what are Pittsburgh steps for people not from Pittsburgh? Uh, Pittsburgh, instead of um, instead of like most places where you build, oh, I don't know, on the bottom or the top of the hill, they decide to build on the freaking side of a hill. Mm-hmm. And it's so steep, you can't put a normal sidewalk in, so you just put steps in. And the steps are sometimes listed as streets on maps. Mm-hmm. And people's uh, houses uh, open uh, up to these city steps. Early days, early days of GPSs was a problem because it would never, yeah. like take a left turn, and there's nothing but a stack of stairs. Yeah. with a road sign by them. Mm-hmm. Right? So, but, but uh, I imagine before we had cars, this was a street. This was a path, right? So, right, or it was an idea because where I used to live in Sheridan, mm-hmm. um, the street I was on, Fidette, there was the quote unquote upper Fidette and lower Fidette. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the maps, they look like they were connected, but there was our little section, mm-hmm. there was a gap where there was a valley that they were going to build a never did. Uh, from the 1950s, they were going to build some kind of bridge to the gap it, and then a little bit of a section and then steps up to the upper part. Mm-hmm. But the early steps, the early maps were like, oh, you could just drive from what because we had people drive a lot, uh, not somewhat, you know, delivery people like, oh, uh, I'm supposed to deliver to, you know, 3000, uh, 30, 24 for that street. You're like, oh, no, that's upper for that. You can't get there from here. <laughs> We have the city the, the city streets the same night. You can't get there from there. So the person behind the Pittsburgh steps with their dog mapped out all the trails from the city parks. I love with their dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So of course, of course you gotta do it. I mean, that's it's more fun to do stuff like that with your with someone who will enjoy Absolutely. walking in the middle of nowhere like a dog so so uh, and, and i love because the first thing because i think the screenshot that either it pulled up or you put in there was like literally my neighborhood so our studio <laughs> is right in the middle if you're on on video here if you go up here this is the uh seldom seen greenway if you if you follow my stuff and uh when i went down there when there was like a, people like tightrope walking and things i don't know mm-hmm. what i just pulled up here i just pulled up some kind of graph or something yeah, when um, you click on the trail, it actually gives you an elevation map. Oh, I see. So that's what's happening there. Okay. W- which so, is really nice. So, you know, uh, oh, you can see it. Oh, this is intermediate. This yeah. is advanced. So I've and, done, oh, I've, this is a couple hundred foot elevation climb. <laughs> you'll have to exit back out the way you entered. So there's, there's no exit for this trail. You just end up at the end and that's it. I mean, uh-huh. there's these wild trails that come through here, through the Greenway and every way. And I got... I, I went back there one time. I think I ended up on this red one here. Extremely steep. And it's like basically <laughs> on the side of a hill and you're just in the woods. You you have to cross a uh, creek with no bridge in order to get to it. Uh, so, but it's like stuff that's been there for years and maybe the bridge went away. Mm-hmm. And I love that there's these 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 trails along the side, you know, around this side of Mount Washington and everything. Um, I think, yeah, there's the Emerald. So now I know where the Emerald Trail goes because I keep see, seeing people come up there when I go hang out um on on that part of grandview avenue uh and and now i know because i've been wanting to take that trail but i have like i'm like Mm -hmm. i don't know how to prepare for it because i don't know where it goes and the uh, google maps has some of these trails and i was following one when i was like i'm like is this a trail that i'm on am i on the thing that google maps says that i am this doesn't look like a trail i feel like i'm just walking in the woods at this point um but no that's really cool and I, i i've been I've been really kind of endeavoring to explore my own neighborhood because I've been here 15 years and have not explored these trails that are literally like right here. So, right. Um, you know, why, why go, why drive away to uh, 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 places like uh, uh, Ohio Power or some, something to go walk around when it's like literally like oh, we got fun right stuff there. right over here. So mm-hmm. <laughs> then you don't even know you're in the city. It's great. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, 